Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. And in today's video, we are reviewing the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. I'm so excited. This was kind of a spur of the moment video for me to film because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to get around to reviewing it, but I'm so excited. I have a little bit of time right now. So I thought let's just jump in and do a review and do an eye look and get my thoughts and all that. So before we get started, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Um, if you like this video or any of my videos, it helps get my channel and my other videos out there and YouTube will also recommend other videos of mine that they think you would like. So uh, that would mean so much. Let's just hop on into the video now. I have not even opened this yet. This is going to be a first impression. I got this yesterday in the mail and I, I'm just so <laughs> eager to see what it looks like in person because the photos on ABH's Instagram and the other photos I've seen other people that I follow on Instagram take, it just looks beautiful. Wow. This feels so nice. This is about the same size as their like original palettes, like the Norvina, the Soft Glam and stuff like that. I have the Norvina right here and it's basically the same size i think the norvina is like a tad it's a tad bit bigger it's a little bit taller and a little bit wider but that could be because of like the felt um and all of that but this is definitely a little bit more sleek and i like this like feeling of this packaging i don't know exactly what it is i don't know i know a lot of people didn't like the felt like velvet or whatever packaging from the other older palettes but i actually didn't mind that i know it got messy but i kind of liked that but i really like this it's just a nice new take and I think it's really nice because Anastasia has not had a new palette out in this format in a long time like I know they had the primrose palette but those had the two blushes so I'm not really going to count that but what was the last one they had why am I thinking the Jackie Ina palette was it that long ago I don't know but it's been a long time so now let's just open up and see this is so pretty here's the palette oh my gosh that is stunning that is stunning the one thing I did go to right away like the one color was wisteria i think i'm saying that right i'm not a fan of purples as if you guys have watched me before i really don't like purple eyeshadows and in the pictures on abh's website or like instagram and the websites and all that that color looks more muted so like in person this is at least i think a lot brighter i don't know if it'll show on camera how bright it is compared to the other colors but i think they did like that pop of color because i think it would complement the green tones in this palette really really well now i have it upside down but this is beautiful i'm really eager to start swatching so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to swatch like four shades at a time and on my hand and then i'll go through what each shade is so let's start here with wings i'm swatching the first shade right now and it's very smooth it feels really really nice okay these are the first four shades on my hand this one right here is wings and wings is a metallic silver green with sparkling reflex the next shade right here is Isle and is a metallic blonde gold. The third shade right here is Belle, which is a metallic antique bronze. And Wisteria is a matte pastel lavender with sparkling reflex. Now, when I swatched these, the metallics were so smooth. It felt really nice. When I uh, went to swatch Wisteria, it was very pigmented. I got a bunch of the shadow on another shade. And that could just be like how I swatched it. But these are really, really pretty. I really like these shades. The shade um, Isle is definitely calling to me. That's kind of my shades that I like to go for. So I really want to use that one. Alrighty, the next four shades we have Lily. I'm pretty sure that's Lily. It is a metallic rose gold with multi-dimensional reflex. The next shade right here, Hope, is a metallic olive green with gold reflex. Paloma is a matte creamy ivory with sparkling reflex. And Fleur is a matte golden peach. Now, same with um, Paloma. It was really like like a little bit of, like not chunky but like I got like weird pieces that fell off kind of like wisteria when I was swatching it um but I know that on the eye that won't really probably affect the eye look at all I think it's just when I swatch it it's just kind of what the shade does but these metallics are stunning but this shade fleur right here I love these like like peachy colors I'm really really into right now so I definitely want to use that shade most likely. I don't know. But look how stunning. These are beautiful. Alrighty, in these last four shades, we have Liberty, which is a matte muted hunter green. Peacock, which is the duochrome bluish green brown with pink reflex. Metro, which is a matte rich clay. And Muse is a metallic dark chocolate brown. And when I swatched that, I was blown away. The pigment on the shade Muse is insane. Another great thing about this palette is that each shade has about 200% more product 
in each shade which is crazy and I looked and it is 200% more and I really really like that because I loved the other older ABH palettes but there were times where I went through shades very very quickly especially in like Modern Renaissance or Soft Glam for example I feel like I hit pan in them really quickly or even finish some shades up within like a couple months if that it seemed so I really like that there is more product now I don't know if this is a new formula I haven't seen anywhere saying it's a new formula but I know ABH's formula pretty well so I'll probably know for sure if it's like a different formula or not the way they swatched they seemed the same like I haven't noticed anything new or crazy besides like the duochrome shade that they have but I'm pretty sure it's the same formula if not let me know what you think down below but just from the swatches they felt the same so there are three shades in this palette um wisteria that pastel like purple uh paloma and what was it metro they are they have like a little asterisk on abh's website and sephora saying should not be used around the eye area so people are kind of confused about that i've seen that before in many other palettes it is pretty common like I've seen I believe Colourpop have it and quite a few other brands and on Google it says here if a product has a not for eye disclaimer that means it contains an ingredient that for whatever reason the FDA concluded shouldn't be used around the eyes for the United States FDA press pigments are not safe for the eye area that is that I'm just speaking for the United States I'm not sure about any other countries I know that there's different you know regulations and things everywhere else in the world so I don't know if we'll show that in other countries but for the U.S. the FDA says these are not eye safe but but I mean like people there's it's like you know like glitter like glitter is not safe on the eye area but people still use it so I wouldn't be too like if you're kind of like I don't know if I want to buy it because three of the shades are not safe for the eye area and it's up to you totally it's your choice it's just personal preference like I said like some people put loose glitter on their eyes and that's not safe either so it's just all up to you but now let's get into what I want to do for the eye look I had my laptop open here um so I can read that to you guys so for an eye look looking at this palette right away I was really drawn to Isle, Fleur, and uh Metro to create an eye look um I don't know I feel like I have not watched any videos of anyone doing this but I've seen a lot of people use the greens and a lot of people were interested in the shade Peacock um, I feel like a lot of people use the shade Peacock in the green shade, so I kind of want to avoid those if possible. I kind of want to do like a more everyday look, not like a glam look with this, um, just because that's what I usually tend to go for. So I think I might just do like a kind of simpler look using Paloma to set my eyes, Isle as like on all over the lid, Fleur in the crease, and then Metro to kind of deepen up the crease and stuff. I think I just want to do a simple like four shade look so let's just get started before I started filming I had to take my eye makeup off because I did not think I was going to be able to film this video today so that's why I have like a whole face on and like mascara so I set my eyes again with a concealer I usually like to use concealer I don't like to use eye primers for the most part just because I really don't like how they feel on my eyes so I'm first going to grab my brush so I'm first going to go into the shade Paloma right here I'm just going to set my eyes with this um set the concealer whoa I forgot how pigmented it's funny I use ABH shadows all the time because like my pan that palette is sultry and I have Norvina in my pan those eyeshadows right now and I still forget sometimes how crazy pigmented ABH formula is like if you just barely tap your brush in so I'm just setting my eyes real quick and if I keep looking over this way it's because my vision is is so bad I have really bad vision so please don't mind that so here I am setting my other eye. Okay, so I know Paloma is probably the most boring shade in this palette, but this, I love using ABH shadows to set my concealer for my eyes, like for before I start doing the eye look. It just always just makes it look smoother. Like I when I use like Urban Decay or any other brand, it just doesn't look as smooth. So when my eyeshadows go on, it's never just as seamless. Like something about ABH's formula I just really really love so I think next I'm going to go into Fleur which is the shade right next to Paloma this is the shade that intrigues me the most in this palette like these two shades right here I think they're beautiful mainly because I'm loving the peachy tones right now so I'm just going to take Fleur on a fluffy brush this is just a Milani brush I think I got this at Target in like a three pack this is my favorite crease brush because I just love that I can just I don't know it just seems so like effortless and I like that it just doesn't deposit too much pigment at in like one spot you can easily blend it out so I'm just gonna dip in a few times so I dipped in twice I don't know if you can see that it's pretty pigmented so I'm just going to do that I guess I could just use this mirror so now I'm just going to lightly put this in the crease 
and usually with ABH shadows I go back in a couple times to get the desired amount that I want. I like to start off really light because they do have a very pigmented formula. Yeah that was really really light. It's really really pretty but I definitely want to build that up a little bit so I'm going to go in a few more times and I'm hoping my eye look will look okay because I usually do my eye look before I do my face makeup because I tend to usually get pretty messy when I do my eye looks and I like to clean it up afterwards. That is a beautiful shade. It's a very very light shade but for me um, I'm really fair, so this is like a perfect crease shade for me. I am really liking this. This is one, I, I always say one and done. Like, it, I feel like I say it so often in my videos, but this is a great one and done shade if you're fair, if you have really, really fair skin, um, like I have, I'm, this is stunning. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it and on camera, but it's just a beautiful, like, bit of, like, subtle it's just like a subtle dimension that is just stunning. This would be perfect just on its own. Now, I know that's probably another boring shade for a lot of people in this palette because a lot of people are like, oh, those like greens, like the olive greens and like the duochrome. This duochrome, in my opinion, when I swatched it, it just looks like every duochrome that I have had in my collection in the past. So I wasn't too keen on using it. But next, I'm going to go in with Metro which is this shade right here, the clay kind of shade. And I think I'm actually just going to use the same Milani brush and dip in a couple times. Since this one is a little bit of a darker shade than Fleur, I'm just going to go in twice and tap it off. And then I'm just gonna go like on the outer edge of my eye and slightly into the crease. My vision is so bad. <laughs> like where I am right now, this is blurry. So I'm I'm totally just guessing right here. So I'm hoping this looks good. That's so pretty. <laughs> this is so pretty. These are the, like, I think it doesn't help that these are the kinds of tones that I am just loving right now. And I'm hoping you guys can see it. It's a little bit darker in my room. I don't have like lighting or anything. I literally just have my phone. But I'm really hoping you guys can see this. This is beautiful. I feel like this is really making my blue eyes pop too. That is beautiful. I literally barely blended out that shade. This is definitely like old school ABH formula. I don't, like I said, like it seems very similar, if not the same to their old formula. So I don't really think they did anything like crazy different. And also I've been using like sultry this whole year for my pan that palette and that is an older palette so it's not as like smooth and stuff as like the newer palette right here i can just do a look like this with no metallic shade on my eyelids and i would be totally happy with it this is beautiful this is a gorgeous just everyday look right here on its own but i am going to go in with aisle this super pretty like it reminds me like a pinky champagne i don't remember what they described it on the website it's just so smooth just like a little bit it goes such a long way so let's see how this looks. Now what I do with ABH metallics is I tap them onto my eyes um, because if I swipe it, it just it's just all intense at once and I like to just slowly blend them out because they are just so smooth and pigmented. You know, even though ABH's formula, like a lot of people say it's old school, I still think it's one of my favorite formulas. And that is beautiful, oh my gosh. That is beautiful. I'm going to go on with the other eye now. And then I'll probably go back in a little bit with Metro to kind of deepen up that crease again because the shimmer shades kind of overpowered it a little bit. I just want to use this palette now. And like it just blends out so easily. Like I just blended that out. So I'm going to go back in with my Milani crease brush. Go back a little bit with Metro. Just tap in once and then tap off the brush a little. And just kind of swoop in lightly just to get a little bit more of that dimension on the outer lid. I don't want anything too crazy because I'm someone that really just likes super everyday kind of looks. I don't really like to go full glam. And I know there's a lot of people that I've watched that do reviews where they do a really glam, beautiful look. That is just not me. I'm just like, let's just do a simple everyday look. This is a beautiful, simple everyday look. This is stunning. I'm really hoping my camera picks it up here. I'll close my eyes and you can see. I love it. I'm hoping this picks it up. It's not like it's anything revolutionary. Like these are colors that you know a lot of people have in their collection or like I have in my collection but I'm just really loving like the peachy tones those kind of like clay tones right now I love all the four shades that I used I like I said I used Paloma to set my concealer and then I went in with Fleur just all over in the crease then I went in with Metro which I did on the outer lid and just slightly into the crease and then I went with Isle all over my lid and I'm obsessed with this look. I love it. So yeah, that is the finished look. Actually, I think I'm going to try to go in with the shade on my bottom lash line, even though I have some mascara on. And it looks like I still might have a teensiest bit of my 
um, eyeshadow from before, but it was kind of hard to get it off. But I'm going to go in with Fleur. Okay, so I just added Fleur on my bottom lash line. And now that is the completed finished look. This look was so easy to do. So now I'm going to put my glasses back on and I will give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so like you guys heard me say while I was applying this eyeshadow look, this was effortless, seamless. This is just like ABH's old quality where very, very pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. So I always recommend just starting off with a little and then building up as you would like instead of going in like full force with a lot of pigment. This is just stunning. I really want to do more looks with this palette since I did just a very simple look. If you guys would want me to do like a three looks one palette or one week one palette with this eyeshadow palette, please let me know. I will be happy to do it because this is stunning. I definitely want to use this more. It makes me not really even want to use my other eyeshadows, which is so bad because, you know, they're in my projects and stuff. Okay, so final thoughts. I don't know if this came like this and that's how it's supposed to be or if mine already, like, cracked right here because I, I bent it back and it feels, like, looser than it did. Um, so I don't know if that came like that or, or what, um, which it doesn't bother me too much because I just prefer to show a palette like this so if I cracked it that's then that's my doing but um there's one thing to look out for in case it doesn't do that now even though I love the eye look and I love this palette and ABH's formula would I recommend this honestly that is up to you like I love ABH quality so if you love ABH and you're really interested in this palette then I would totally recommend it but I feel like a lot of people can dupe this palette in their collection the first palette I thought of when I saw this palette online was the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace. I feel like that is very, very similar. I actually have it. I got it recently. So I'm going to grab that out real quick and let's compare. If you hear anything, my son is watching someone play the Kirby game on YouTube. He's obsessed with Kirby. So if you hear any yelling, he's just really into the game. So I have the Tiny Marvels palette here. Now it is a more diverse color story in my opinion. There's also a little bit, you know, more shades in it. This one has 12 shades. The Tiny Marvels has 15, so here is the uh, Novu palette. I, oh my gosh, I hope I'm saying it right. Here's this palette, the ABH palette, and then Tiny Marbles is right here. Now, there are definitely some similarities. Let me grab them. Let's see if I can try to fit it. Now, there are some similarities, like the Wisteria shade and what's the shade called? Uh, Jewel Bee, and then like Flutterby is kind of like Fleur. Um, so they're similar, but different. So I would say, honestly, if you have this palette, I don't really think you would need the Nouveau, Novu, Nouveau palette. Oh my gosh. I feel like I said it right in the beginning and I just completely forgot how to pronounce it. I mean, I have both. So I mean, I can't be like, oh, don't get it. Like, obviously I have both palettes. Um, but it also kind of gives me like Natasha Denona mini retro vibes with like the greens and the pinks. Hold on, let me grab that real quick. Here is the mini retro with the pretty olive greens and those pinks, which these are the colors that I'm loving right now. So I guess it's no surprise why I like this palette. Look at that. You see, they're similar. They're similar. So if you like this color story, but you don't want to use every single shade and you're really into the greens and the pinks, if you don't have this palette, I would just recommend getting this palette. But if you really like all the tones in this color story, and you don't really have anything like it, I would definitely recommend it. It is stunning. And this is just based off one look I did. So I really would love to do more with this. So please let me know if you want me to do that down below. So overall, I recommend it. But again, it's totally up to you if you want to buy this palette. But I would give it a solid... A 9 out of 10 from the first time I used it. Obviously, I have not used, like, the green, so I feel like that's the true test because I really don't like greens on me too much. So let me know if you'd want to see me do, like, a green look or anything with this. I would be so happy to do it. And that is it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was in-depth enough. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down below, and I will do my best to answer them. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.